Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how tooltips work. So how can you add tooltips to your widgets? Well, it's very simple really. What I have here is a, an application with a label and an input and if I run my app you'll see, well, a label and an input. I don't think this is surprising. And now what you can do is when you're composing the widgets or at other times, it doesn't really matter. What you can do is you can assign to the widget tooltip attribute. So each widget has a tooltip attribute and it's set to none by default, but you can set it to a string. Now let's yield the label the same. So now if I run my application, I have my mouse cursor is over here. If I put the if I hover the label, you'll see a tooltip with the information that you type into the tooltip. And this, this works with widgets other than labels. You just need to assign to the tooltip attribute. So there's an input here. Let's do this is the input. Let's do tooltip equals another tooltip. Let's yield the input. And if I run my app and if I hover over the input, you can see that there's a tooltip there. So this is a very simple mechanism and it can be quite useful when you have a busy UI and you need to give some help to the user, some information. Maybe you, you can do that with tooltips, who knows. All right, so this was a very short tip. I hope you enjoyed this tip. I hope you make good use of these tooltips and I hope to see you in the next video. And you already know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Or better yet, ask them on the Discord server. I will, I will link to the Discord server below as well. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.